Yo, this is Nick. On today's look in the lab, we are going to be covering gloss per ASTM standard D-523. Gloss is an aesthetic property of a finished coating and is recorded in gloss units, a measure of how reflective or shiny the surface of a coating is. There are both visual and functional reasons for gloss to vary from anywhere between an incredibly high gloss finish and a dead matte. An end user should have a specification for the appearance of their finish, including an acceptable range for the coating's gloss. A gloss meter is used to measure the gloss of a cured powder coating. There are many manufacturers of these meters, and in the lab we use a TQC polygloss device. Before using a gloss meter, you'll need to calibrate it by checking the calibration against a known surface, such as a highly polished black glass standard. These are included in the gloss meter's base. If the known surface readings vary from their expected results, the instrument will need to be recalibrated, preferably by the manufacturer. So, once you have your coated articles and your calibrated gloss meter, it's time to take some measurements. A gloss meter works by shining a light from specific angles onto the surface being evaluated and then measuring how much of that light reflects into a photo detector. Three angles off the vertical axis are specified in the ASTM standard, those being 60 degrees for most finishes, 20 degrees for very high gloss coatings, and 85 degrees for very low gloss coatings. It's good practice to evaluate your powder coatings on test panels before committing them to an actual part, and a 3 by 6 inch test panel provides a good amount of space to take and average multiple gloss readings to produce an accurate measurement. If you have to check the gloss of a coating on a finished part, Try to evaluate on the flattest and largest area of the part, as any curvature can skew the results. It should also be noted that variations in the coating's thickness and texture, as well as differences in how it is applied and or cured, can influence the gloss of the coating. Additionally, special care should be taken when measuring the gloss of clear coats, as the surface of the substrate beneath the clear coat can influence results based on the orientation of the gloss meter in relation to any grain or texture of the coated part. With this gloss meter, I can log multiple readings into a batch and then view the range of results, as well as the mean and standard deviation of those results. In the event that the gloss is out of specification, some changes will need to be made. If you are an end user purchasing the powder, you will want to contact the supplier to let them know that the coating does not meet your specification. If you are a manufacturer of the powder running QA on a batch, you will need to determine if something changed during production which altered the expected gloss, for example, an improper way up of raw materials. You may have to adjust the coating formulation, then check the gloss of the new batch to determine if it now meets your customer's specification. Dooby boobity boo. A look in the lab. lab.